Top 3 Bands Robert Plant Hated Robert Plant is a singer-songwriter best known as the lead singer for the rock band Led Zeppelin. He is known for his powerful style and wide vocal range. Renowned for his dynamic vocal range and charismatic stage presence, Plant's influence on rock and roll is immeasurable. After Led Zeppelin's broke up following the sudden death of drummer John Bonham in 1980, Plant pursued a successful solo career. He released his debut solo effort, Pictures at Eleven, in 1982 and his next album, The Principle of Moments came soon after. In 1984, he formed a group called The Honey Drippers with Jimmy Page and Jeff Beck. They did hits like Sea of Love and Rockin' at Midnight covers and Plant soon went solo again. So if you're Robert Plant's fan or simply curious about this legend hit the like button and subscribe to our channel and let's dive in. The Who The Who has been performing as a band for decades, and Led Zeppelin singer Robert Plant once said that he found this sad. After Keith Moon's tragic overdose in the late 70s, The Who continued on, but Plant chose not to make the same mistake with Led Zeppelin after John Bonham's death. While many view the current form of The Who as a tribute to their music, Plant sees it as a shadow of their former glory. Robert Plant expressed his disappointment in The Who's recent performances, telling Rolling Stone, I saw The Who trundled around the stadiums of America, and I found it so dull, obvious, and sad. The fact that they carried on without Keith Moon was always a mystery to me. Kenny Jones the replacement for Keith did his best, but his solid tight clean way of playing was too different than Moon did. The excitement was gone and The Who wasn't that special anymore. Pete Townsend and Roger Daltrey over the years, both had expressed regret over their decision to continue on as The Who after the 1978 death of original drummer Keith Moon. Many assumed Entwistle's passing would signal the end of the band. Led Zeppelin. I can't blame anybody for hating Led Zeppelin. If you absolutely hated Stairway to Heaven, nobody can blame you for that because it was so pompous. Plant is his own toughest critic. However, he isn't critical of his current, self-indulgent self. Instead, he directs his criticism toward his former role as the lead singer of Led Zeppelin. The black country native who once rocked the world appears to be ashamed of Led Zeppelin's legacy and the fans who still idolize the band. Recently Plant opened up in an interview and revealed that there are some old Led Zeppelin tunes that make him cringe, because he believes that his vocals are terrible. The song Robert Plant hates from the legendary rock band's back catalog is quite possibly their most adored hit. One of the most famous tracks in the world, Zeppelin's wild and wonderful masterpiece, Stairway to Heaven. For Robert Plant, Led Zeppelin really died in 1977 when his son passed. For him Led Zeppelin has a bad connotation, it brings back too many dark moments. He did lose his son and best friend while in the band, and went through some heavy addiction and saw the others lose themselves to it too. It's no secret that Greta Van Fleet sounded a lot like Zeppelin. When asked about the up-and-coming band in an interview, Plant didn't hold back his bias. There's a band in Detroit called Greta Van Fleet, they are Led Zeppelin. Beautiful little singer, I hate him. Plant also mentioned that he had issues with vocalist Josh Kiska, adding, he borrowed his voice from somebody I know very well, but what are you going to do? At least he's got a bit of style because he said he based his whole style on Aerosmith. <laughs>